From the title of my talk, Seeing the Unseen, you might not be able to uh, guess what I'm going to talk about today. It's about my uh, uh, clinical, uh, clinical uh, experience by using SMI. First, uh, I would like you to take a look at this uh, movie clip. Uh, this shows uh, the vascular structure of a uh, normal kidney. Is this a CT angiography? No, it isn't. It is almost impossible to visualize, to delineate these tiny vessels separately by CT, as you can tell from the scale on the left side. And this show also shows the normal vascular structure of a liver, uh, just uh, beneath the surface of the liver. And you can appreciate the uh, very fine vessel structures inside the liver parenchyma. Is this a mold taken from a real specimen? It looks like it, but it's not. It still is difficult to make molds of these very fine, tiny vessels. So in fact, uh, these images, these 3D images you have seen previously was uh, constructed from the 2D images of SMI, what I'm talking about. And in normal kidney cortex, you can see very fine normal vascular structures. So, I like to compare SMI to the eyes of the owl, which, has, which have abundant light sensitive rod shaped cells that enables them to see a prey or a moving target in the total darkness where we can't see anything. So that means SMI enables you to see what you couldn't see before. Of course, in the normal liver, uh, you can see a very tiny vascular structure just beneath the liver surface. And even in normal pancreas and normal jejunum, where you don't ex expect much uh, of the visualization of uh, the vessels, SMI still can uh, delineate these uh, normal vessels inside these organs. So uh, are these pictures by a contrast ultrasound or uh, is SMI uh, one of the technique of contrast ultrasound? No, they're not. Not a drop of a contrast agent has been injected into these patients. And even in a patient breathing freely, you can see the tiny vessels and uh, you can see the blood flow changing, showing change, the physiological change caused by the respiratory cycle. I don't think uh, these real, real-time image or a real uh, physiological image of a blood flow can be obtained by any other modalities. So, compared with uh, other uh, modalities or uh, conventional color Doppler, SMI is far more superior in its frame, high frame rate, high sensitivity, high resolution, with less motion artifacts. So from now on, I'd like to uh, show you my uh, clinical images using SMI. First, we look into uh, neoplastic diseases, and uh, then inflammatory diseases, and some other disorders. SMI is very useful in the evaluation of density and the shape of tumor vessels. This is a case of HCC, and uh, you can recognize a protruding tumor from the surface of the liver. By using ADF, uh, which is a, a, wide, a kind of wideband uh, Doppler with the range of uh, nine centimeters per second, you could see the part of the tumor vessels, but not enough to uh, characterize the tumor. But uh, when you lower the velocity range of ADF down to three centimeters, trying to uh, visualize uh, uh, tumor vessels with low velocity flow, the image is badly distorted by the clutter 
and you can see anything but a clutter. But monochrome SMI shows a fine tune of vessels, which, which is like a basket-like pattern, clearly, and you can uh, have a strong suspicion that this tumor must be a HCC. This case is a metastatic liver tumor caused by breast cancer. And on grayscale, you can notice uh, some hypoechoic area, which is suspicious, but you cannot be really sure about the nature of this tumor. But using color-coded SMI, uh, you can see uh, many tumor vessels surrounding this hypoechoic area and monochrome SMI shows more of the final vessels that indicates uh, this tumor is a metastatic liver tumor. So uh, to detect or to diagnose tumors, you can use the SMI the other way around. Uh, this is the case of pancreat pancreatic cancer. On grayscale, you cannot be really sure about the diagnosis or even the presence of a tumor, but uh, only you could say uh, this area must be a little bit hypoechoic, darker. And color-coded SMI revealed that uh, this area is quite uh, hypovascular, which is the nature of uh, pancreatic cancer. So this uh, SMI image suggests that this is uh, very suggestive of pancreatic cancer, and we confirmed the di diagnosis by, F, uh, by, by the fine needle aspiration and uh, was confirmed by uh, the surgical operation. This is a case of uh, bladder cancer. There's a couple of tumors and also a uh, diverticulum, and uh, this 3D image uh, made by uh, ultrasound uh, helps you to understand the shape of these uh, lesions. On color-coded SMI, you can see a branch-like structure of uh, this tiny tumor. And uh, monochrome SMI, which is a bit sensitive to the lower blood flow, shows uh, uh, very fine vascular structures that confirms the diagnosis of uh, bladder cancer. And uh, superficial lesions, such as uh, skin lesions or superficial lymph node lesions, are, are good options to use uh, SMI because uh, you can always use the higher frequency probes without worrying about the attenuation of the ultrasound beam. And this is a malignant melanom on the fingertip. And even in a tiny tumor like this, uh, the SMI can still delineate uh, the rich vascularity inside the tumor. And same can be said uh, the, to uh, this squamous cell carcinoma on the face. And this is also a very tiny tumor, but you can see a branch-like structure and rich, vas rich uh, vascularization in the tumor. So, Right now, we have several options to investigate tumor vessels. By using a conventional color doppler method, you could see uh, some of uh, the tumor vessels with uh, relatively higher velocity and a higher caliber with the information of the flow direction. And SMI reveals more and more of the tumor vessels inside and if you would like to know the perfusion of the tumor, uh, you can use a uh, uh, contrast ultrasound. And even after the contrast ultrasound examination is done, you can go back to uh, SMI to see the live image of these uh, fine vessel structures because the SMI becomes extremely sensitive after the injection of our contrast agent. And you can also make a 3D vascular image like this. And that shows that this tumor is very uh, hypervascular. 
So let's move on to the next topic. Uh, SMI is also very useful in the assessment of disease activity. These pictures are taken uh, from a patient uh, of a radiocarpal joint in a patient with the rheumatoid arthritis. The convention power Doppler, which is also used to uh, decide the ac disease activity of RA, you can see uh, several vessels inside the thickened synovial membrane of this patient. But, uh, you know, SMI reveals more and more inflammatory vessels inside. So taking into account the fact that uh, there's uh, more uh, blood flow, the more severe, the severe the inflammation is, this SMI it could even change the criteria of this disease already. Using SMI uh, to a gastrointestinal tract is another good option. Uh, these pictures are taken from uh, a patient with ulcerative colitis, and uh, on grayscale, you can't be really sure which uh, barbell segment is more active because the thickness of the wall is about the same with each other. But by using SMI, it's obvious uh, sigma of the colon is more hyperemic uh, than the transverse colon, and you can even uh, detect the increased blood flow in, even in the mu mucosal layer right here. This anterior wall and posterior wall, and this black belt is uh, mucosal layer. So it's obvious uh, sigma of the colon is more active than the transverse colon, uh, which was confirmed uh, by the endoscopy. So the same can be applied, of course, uh, to the Crohn's disease. And uh, this is a transverse view of the ileum, and you, you can see the hyperemia in the ileal wall, transmural hyperemia. And this uh, 3D vascular image uh, made from this is more appealing, I guess. Uh, you can see the blood vessel structures uh, inside the ileal wall. And in this picture, uh, the longitudinal view of the transverse colon, you can see the hyperemia. You can detect the hyperemia throughout the entire the bowel segment. So this segment has a severe inflammation, which was also confirmed by uh, endoscopy. So let's move on to the last topic. Uh, SMI is, of course, uh, useful for the diagnosis of ischemia or necrosis. This is a case uh, of uh, necrotizing lymphadenopathy uh, in a large lymph node, a relatively large lymph node, which has a length uh, of uh, two centimeters and a width of one centimeter. Uh, you can see a fine vascular structure in the lymph node, but you can also detect the avascular area where you find any blood flow signals right here that represents a necrosis of the part of this lymph node. And even in a small lymph node like this, which is about three millimeters in diameter, you could uh, suspect the avascular lesion, which is necrotic by color-coded SMI, and you can confirm your diagnosis by monochrome SMI, which is more sensitive uh, to the blood flow with lower velocity. And this is the image of spleen uh, in a patient, in a six-year boy who had been injured in a traffic accident. And even without using any contrast agents, you can detect the avascular area in the splenic parenchyma, which represents a hematoma and the damaged tissue in the spleen. And uh, this uh, 3D vascular image shows the uh, exact extent of the damaged area. The diagnosis of NOMI 
uh, standing for a non-occlusive mesenteric ischemia is still challenging, no matter what modality you use. But considering the SMI, it can detect the normal vascular structures inside the normal bowel wall, you can tell uh, this bowel segment in a patient with NOMI has uh, almost no blood signals. That means this area is suffering from uh, ischemia, which was confirmed by Contour's ultrasound. As you can see, there's almost no perfusion inside. So, so far, uh, you have seen some uh, clinical cases using SMI. Again, SMI is uh, far more superior in the visualization of minute vessels with less motion artifact, and it becomes extremely sensitive with contrast agent. But it has only one disadvantage. SMI is hard. It's hard to demonstrate with the SMI at the flow direction. It's just like the eyes of the owls. They don't react well to color. So the SMI on a player 500 gives you the eyes of the owl. So why don't you catch and try it before it flies away? Although my uh, talk today is uh, confined to the blood vessels and blood signals and blood flow, I hope uh, it wasn't too bloody for you. Thank you very much for your kind attention.